why it is as it is. Yeah? Why are we here? Why this is even kind of approaching uh, philosophy, right? You can try to answer such a question philosophically or religious, and we are trying to answer this question from the scientific point of view. I think that's fascinating, keeps us going. And of course, as long as we are financed and as long as we have the resources, uh, that's fun to do physics. My name is Hans Steuer. I'm one of the directors at IKP of Forschungszentrum Mülich and uh, one of the ERC advanced grant holders, actually two of them. The research topic here was originally uh, so-called hadron physics. So we used this machine that you see here to study interactions of protons, deuterons and nuclei. We did both internal and external experiments and one of these experiments was uh, the first ERC grant that I got, uh, which is how to polarize antiprotons. Now we don't have antiprotons here, but this COSI facility was used as a test uh, of or a proof of principle to uh, see how this method works with protons. And later on we wanted to go to CERN to do the same thing with antiprotons. We thought it would add another perspective to the research that people are doing worldwide if we have polarized antiprotons at our disposal. So this was the, the motivation for the first ERC grant. The motivation for the second one was that we would like to understand why we are here. Why is this me, you, the Earth, the Moon, the uh, universe uh, essentially made out of matter and uh, there is no matter, antimatter around anymore. Although we think or the current understanding is that at the beginning of our universe, at the Big Bang, there was an equal amount of matter and antimatter around. elementary particle physics, nuclear physics, hadron physics, or as we call it precision physics, we call it actually the precision frontier. You cannot do things alone by yourself. Yeah? You're not sitting at your desk and do things by your own. We have huge collaborations. Actually also my uh, both ERC grants, I always, I'm the PI, principal investigator, but uh, we always also have uh, people who work with us. For example, uh, Jörg Poitz from originally from RWTH Aachen, but now also joining our group here. Say, as a director of an institute here in Jülich, you get a motivation by uh, people telling you, oh, you're doing great physics or you're doing great science. But of course, uh, the ERC, with the reputation that it has right now, is something special. And then, uh, okay, you get about uh, 14, 15 percent of the applicants uh, or the applications uh, actually receive a grant. So getting two of them is really something special. And actually, of course, many people uh, congratulated me and uh, our group uh, to get to achieve this.